Hello there and welcome back to yet another episode, what might actually be the last episode in this series since we have done a bit of a poll and if I pull it up on my dashboard real quick here as well. Yep, we had about 80 votes so thank you so much for voting. We were trying to figure out what we're going to do with this playthrough so we had some issues with some of the mods and uh, I guess we're all pretty excited to try the new update as well so um, yeah, so there was three options really for us what we could do. We could restart on update 5 using the same map and trying to sort of, I guess I wouldn't really replicate the colony, but yeah, we, we could use the same or a similar sort of layout in here. Now the second option was for restarting on update 5 with a new map and the last one was to continue the current series for a few more episodes. So um, yeah, 20% went for the first vote, which is the new same map on update 5 64% of you guys voted for update 5 on a new map and 16% said hey let's do a couple more videos before we close it out because it is very sad to close out the series we're just leaving things how they are so what's gonna happen is we shall do a bit of a mixture of the the second option and the third option so before starting on update 5 um, I've got to be honest yeah I, I can't wait to try it as well there's a couple of reasons. Uh, I think part of the, or the second main one, first one is obviously I want to see the new things that are in the in the series as well, or in the in the game. And the second one being, I just don't want to mess around with broken mods that might potentially close out the series pretty, uh, pretty early. So yeah, that's what we are doing. We are going to do one final episode, try and improve a few things in here. I think there were a few promises that we wanted to implement so let's do those and um, when it comes to the beaver venice i still want to do it the same with the Colosseum as well so we will just do it on a on a new map okay so what's happening over here now the power has been quite a bit of a problem over here and i'd like to try a small fix hold on a second i think we are gonna have to remove a few things from here i mean it is drought right now so probably doesn't matter too much but Okay, so first of all, let's fix the fix the power. Let's see what happens when we place a few levees like so. Okay, so I think we are going to leave a bit of a gap in there. Oh yeah, let's uh, leave it like that. And then over here, with this gate, I'm not going to remove it just yet, but I'd like the beavers to be able to... Oh dear, this is difficult. Okay, here we go be able to cross or go into this zone um, <laughs> okay so it's a bit more difficult than we imagined I guess okay and here goes that one let's delete this tree as well and now we can give them a bit of a path to go all the way to the other side okay yep so this is the the road that's been going not the road the wall that, that's been going up as well. It is slightly lower than the one before, so we could add a ton of, um, of water wheels over here. And to fill this space, if we had more metal, I mean, it's not too bad of an amount that we have right now. But instead of platforms, we could also just build a ton of flywheels. Yeah, these could go in here. Uh, maybe this way would be easier. And then um, that would store a lot of power, but it takes... 40 uh, metal so that's not what we are gonna do so let me just quickly place a few platforms over here all right so we do have a bit of a blueprint uh, down now we've got some platforms the walls going up as well we've done a bit of a walkway and then the power will be connected from underneath if we grab a couple of cables all right one of those uh, D junctions over here i think that's about right isn't uh, actually let's not block them in just yet they're still running around and trying to construct this place up a little bit okay so the next thing we have tidied up this area as well there was a very good comment that uh, regarding pot assemblers we could actually be running four of them to maximize the output because a set of three pot part uh, factories could keep two of those assemblers running so um, yeah as we can see we've got a bit of a surplus of different parts in here so um, if we want to increase the number of pots that we have in this colony, we could just build another assembler and we should be fine. I mean, right now we do have 24 spare pots, so um, I think that's maybe 
maybe not so needed. Now another fix we've done in this area is we've managed to build quite a few side platforms over here. Oh, the drought has ended as well, so that's uh, that's great. Yep, yeah, and the, the containers over here will be holding water, maple syrup, biofuel and catalyst. And the reason for that is, well, it's all for those refineries over here. We do need to use water and potatoes for uh, biofuel production. And then for the catalyst, we need uh, maple syrup. So it's nice to have all those containers uh, very, very close to our production area. Then let's have a look on the other side as well. Oh, actually, never mind. Potatoes. We just mentioned potatoes. And uh, we do have a ton of them here. But if you remember from the previous episode, we were actually starting to run pretty low on raw potatoes as well. So what we have done here. We've built this lovely bridge to grow across to the other side and same what we have done with the sunflowers. We have done with potatoes as well. So there's tons of them growing over here. This factory's or warehouse is full as well. So yeah, things are looking nice and healthy. Now moving on, we've also tidied up this space over here. We don't have those pot assemblies and the factories here anymore. And I think I was planning to sort of get rid of all this here as well, but it's not really on our, or in our way right now so I've sort of left this area and then uh, the next thing I've started to do here is to clean up some of the connections what I'd like to do is have this district over here be bots only okay so how many do we have in here right now 70 and no beavers at all okay so we're almost there and I want this district the second one to be in charge of all this metal bot production and then logs, planks, and um, <laughs> gears as well. I mean, the gear production factory is pretty small in here right now, but uh, this could have been expanded quite a bit. Okay, so, uh, yep, this one's been tidied up. All the bots are now working in, in this area. And uh, we've extended the water wheel power production zone as well, and with a few large windmills, of course. Because, um, yeah, it seems to be working together pretty nicely are you connected as well oh yes you are so that's good so we should be able to see very soon how all this water and how much power we will be able to produce okay now let's go back a little bit yep so um since i have been building so many things we've finally managed to clear up this forest pretty nicely as well so uh, and then the next thing i wanted to do i believe it was mentioned way early as well how it would be lovely to see different canals going from here so that's exactly what we've been looking at as well well okay let's zoom around a little bit so we've let the beavers run around this place uh, okay so this is connected as well that's good and um, yeah built up these canals we've tried to take out all the infrastructure that we had in here and sort of create them or give them alternative ways to cross over and go through this area so I think we are <laughs> oh yeah there's uh, we're almost here since we do struggle with the range a little bit I think we have to give them a slightly different point of access so district center is over there this one is pretty uh, straight over here so maybe we just for the purpose of constructing this area up we'll give them a, another route okay so now the beavers can climb up from here and we shall. Where shall we climb down from? I mean, it could just carry on through from here. No, that's going to be a little bit difficult with the ladders, isn't it? We might even have to go from the side, actually. Because, yeah, getting down here, we won't be able to build anything, which is a bit of a shame, but... Okay, let's give it a try. Let's do the roads from here. And then um, we do have a bit of infrastructure already in place uh, right about here. Okay, so you don't even have to climb down, do you? All right, there we go. So the next thing we do have to do is clear up all those trees. Access should be coming with these two, well, one ladder and a couple of platforms. We'll let the beavers and the bots try and clean this up as quick as we, quick as we can. Okay, so where is everyone right now? Okay, so they must be building... Oh yeah, the walls. <laughs> and 
and uh, let's have a quick look over here as well so every time the drought ends we do have a bit of a flood over here and that's probably with the water not being able to escape as quick as it wants to but that's okay oh never mind we have already filled up the canal over here it seems hmm let's not let it spill over so why don't we just open the gates over here and see what happens okay there it goes I do think we had a few bots and beavers in here so let's just try and rescue them before anything bad happens and we might want to build up this levee here as well <laughs> okay this one is for access oh dear you've gotta gotta run as well because the water is already on its way oh something we do have to do in here is we do need a ladder don't we because yeah a couple of those trees are in our way so let's chop them down so we can build a few more a few more houses or foresters over here so I have measured out a rough distance where we need to build those foresters so I think it was about 14 tiles or so um, or blocks and then yep the next one could be going let's have a look if you are right about here then you still will have quite good access here don't we mm, maybe not for the middle trees Oh yeah, this area is not covered at all. Right, well there you go. The water has equalized itself. The canal is, well, somewhat full of water. We've got the levee in place as well, which is fantastic. And then what we can do, I believe there was another levee somewhere along this route that we can take out. Okay, here we go. Let's remove this one as well. So yeah, the water can flow through nicely and evenly and then in this section I'm just gonna rip out a few trees and sort of measure out where exactly do we need the next forester to be uh, <laughs> should we need some more trees we can and I think we oh yeah we definitely shall place a few more of you guys down here as well okay there we go Right, so all we have to do now is let them uh, hopefully construct these areas here as well. I might give you a slightly higher priority because I would like this to be done first. Yeah, let's try and bring some water into this area so those trees won't die out just yet. Okay, so that's going to take a, a little bit of time. Let's have a look into some other areas. Right, so this is our food production area. And if you remember from the previous episodes as well, that's where we wanted to do. If we grab the crops, we still have the cattail and Sparadog to be unlocked. So, uh, the simple plan was to use a bit of terraforming. Let's go landscaping and voila, here we go. We've got a few blocks already in its place as well. So the way I'm thinking to tackle this one is I'd like to still have some canals running on the outskirts of the farm. Another one also through, through the middle. And then um, we'll have like little, what you call them again, those floodgates here that will help us control the, the amount of wa water that we have here. Now, I don't think we need to raise it up by another level just like so, because then we might struggle with letting enough water in when the water level drops during the droughts. And then um, same in this one here as well. Depending on how big and wide we want to do it, which I don't think needs to be a lot. Right? Yeah, so this should already be enough. So, <laughs> access wise, we're going to have roads through the middle, I believe. Yep, yeah, because on the sides we can plant some trees. This would be way nicer. Let's do that. And then in the corner, uh, hold on a second. Let's just remove both of you. Okay, and then we can do a double flat gate over here. And then you guys could hop over as well. <laughs> I guess something like this should be suitable, right? Now, do we want to take those trees down? No, not really, because they are helping us bring in some resources here as well. What we shall do, because they could walk in here <laughs> pretty, pretty easily. Walk... Um, 
Hold on a second. We're struggling with the buttons over here. There we go. So the floodgate will be paused. This means they could still walk through this whole area. Okay. So what we shall do is let's give them a stairs. Okay. Here we go. You can now climb down this way. And we'll put a couple of temporary roads over here as well. Which will allow our bots to start terraforming. Okay. You guys won't be able to head over there because we don't have the access just yet, okay? Right. Highest priority for the for the stairs or the ladders. Once it is constructed, and that means the bots can run over here. And whilst we are focusing on some of the other areas, they can already have this farm hopefully somewhat completed for us. Okay. Right. So over here as well. We would like to start raising this mountain. Oh yeah, so <laughs> it's going to take me a little bit of time to make sure that we cover everything. But yeah, the plan is pretty much to just bring it up as much as we can. Well, maybe not all the way to the uh, to the sky because then it might look a little out of place over here. But just a little bit about the, the water's level. So we have different levels of the pools as well. Okay, so I think we have done a full circle. Right, so something else I wanted to highlight real quick over here. In case some of you might have similar struggles what I had before. So if you remember again from the previous episode, some of those decorative blocks were just sort of like twitching and jumping around uh, all over the place here. And the fix for this was actually very easy as mentioned by uh, Jason. So... It's the flip building mod that caused them to jump around all over the place. So thank you so much, Jason. I'm sure it's going to help quite a, quite a few players just like myself here as well. So at least now we know in the future how to, how to fix this. Okay, so let's have a look over here. It seems our extension of this ginormous levee wall is almost done. Okay, lovely. So this means we can probably redirect this power section here as well. I would very much like to get rid of this creation over here. Right, right. Uh, so another thing we could do over here actually is, um, well, the construction of this farm is going to take quite a bit of time. I'm, uh, yeah, that, that's what I'm assuming here. So we should probably resume the production of dirt uh, first of all. Because I am... Yeah, I predict that we might need quite a lot of dirt over there. Uh, firstly, we are going to place yet another. can't quite see what level they are. Okay, so this is triple. Right, here we go. And a couple of these ones as well. Yeah, I want to do another storage over here. Uh, here we go. All you need is an access road. And uh, lovely. Maybe give you... a a slightly mm, well I have a feeling by the time we get this built we won't even need it anymore because all the dirt's been used anyways but um, okay to speed this up actually that's exactly what's probably gonna happen so why don't we do it this way instead let's just make sure that our storage is never fill up by constructing another terraforming station so you're gonna take 30 metal blocks which is fine 3D planks is 200. Oh, <laughs> well, we have quite a bit in here, so that's not too bad. Give you slightly higher priority as well, and I think all of our beavers are very busy somewhere right now. Let's try and figure out what are they, what are, what are they doing currently? Okay, so this is going pretty well over here. The water is still uh, spilling over that way as well. Okay, it would be very lovely if we had some sort of movement around this area and it was utilized for some other things as well oh yeah we did a small bridge over here to cross over those water wheels into our living district uh, let's have a look so this is yeah this is looking good they've not really had the time to clear out the trees hold on a second the platform can finally go in here Okay, so if we place you... Oh, yeah, we lose access to all of those trees, which means 
you are going to have to be a little bit higher. And I think it's right about here. Right, and uh, look at that. We've got some of the first blocks already in. And it's hard to tell where or how many they've done. I've kind of forgotten already. But yeah, there's definitely been a few in here. They've done the sides. And I think some of them are... Oh yeah, they are out of reach. However, we can change that pretty easily. We just have to take out... Yep, this floodgate over here, and <laughs> you can run all the way to that side. Okay, lovely. So that's going in. Uh, farms will definitely be operational in this one very soon. Now, let's have a quick zoom over. All right, so the platforms are going up very nicely. Let's have a look. Our storages are not too bad. You are working full time. You guys are running back and forth. Oh yeah, that's going to take some time. And I am assuming and sort of predicting that we might need another station over here. Now, don't we? Okay, so if you... <laughs> well, you are pretty skinny, so we might not need to... Let's have a look. So you go here. Oh yeah, access is going to be a little bit funky. But, um, <laughs> let's change this up. Let's put a ladder in here instead. Okay, so you guys are going to complain. Yep, we know that. And, all right. Here we go. Let's have a quick fix. A highest priority for you. Let's stick the, the road on top as well. All right, here we go. Lovely. The wall is now done. Which means they are continuing with the platforms. Right, you're going to need some access as well. So why don't you complain? bleed those stairs first and okay so that's lovely let's have a quick check on our power production as well so 6,000 I mean it's not the worst but it's also nothing to be proud of either because we have so many water wheels around this place and windmills okay 8,000 now okay so this is a little bit better I was just about to say that our power production doesn't seem to be that high but I mean, for the consumption of 3,600, so we, we've got enough surplus over here. And it seems the batteries are uh, slowly filling up as well. We definitely need more batteries. I mean, if we are gonna... You know, if we were to play this for a little bit longer, then, um, then yeah, that's another thing. Okay, so why don't we give them a little bit more time to construct or finish constructing the perimeter wall over here. But also the, the rain blocks as well. Right, so I believe it is time for a quick uh, checkup on uh, what, what's been happening. So, the natural tiles, the terrain blocks, have been going up pretty nicely, actually. We've got the uh, most of the perimeter done now, and I think, I believe, we should be able to close off this area as well, because what I've decided to do, I put a whole lot of platforms right here in the middle, because, uh, as I said before, on the sides, there's going to be farms and... I think some trees growing as well. I'm thinking birch trees and maybe some other ones as well. But nothing too big. Just some simple farming decorations. And um, okay, so let's take this uh, road out from here. Next, a landscaping um, floodgate. And we shall place you just like so. Now, eventually we will link up the stream gauge over here as well. So this should help us maintain the right level of water. We are going to give you a slightly higher priority as well. I would like this to be completed as quick as possible and now we can finally unlock this aquatic water house. So we are going to need a bit of access here as well. Let's do it from the middle. Okay and then with the farmhouses themselves. Uh, hold on a second. We're going to need a road up here as well. Okay so we need about two farmhouses don't we actually i'll be honest i don't exactly remember what and how many we need so what we are gonna do let me <laughs> no let's do the bigger ones so that way we can have some uh, some trees right next to the farm and i think i believe they will not sort of contest with the plants or be in our way so can we remove this road as well okay there we go and these ones and this one okay now to plant those 
crops. We are going to need some cattail. Let's do cattail on one side. Now when we grab the aquatic... Oh, hold on a second. You're... Ah, I totally forgot about that. Okay, never mind. We'll place you here like so. This means we don't need the the last side platform over here. Okay, slightly higher priority. I know they won't be able to um, grow anything here just yet because we don't have the the right level of water. Oh, hold on a second. But that we can also fix pretty easily, right? So if we place a couple of pumps over here, okay. They will need a ladder, of course. Now, it depends how quickly we want this area to be cleaned out, but... <laughs> right, that's two, two to start with. All right, we get the pumps. You're going to go over there. Let's grab the roads, connect you up as well. And this means we will have one tile of water, exactly what we need here. Okay, wonderful. You're going to be close because we don't need any more water in this area for now. And voila, look at that. Our first zone is almost complete. Yep, that is good to see. Now let's do another farm here as well. I believe two of them running around will be, will be perfect. And we'll have the bots maintain this area, of course. One of you will be planting, the other one harvesting, so... There you go, let's speed up the time just a little bit. Bumps uh, should be the first thing we... Uh, oh dear, okay. The first thing we do over here. Okay. Um, oh right, yeah. That means these blocks need to be done first. Okay. Well, it's going to take a, a little bit of time. Let's... Um, <laughs> bumping out this water probably isn't the fastest. So why don't we... Yeah, why don't we do a couple more? Okay. Over there. Grab the road. Connect that up. Okay. Lovely. Last bit of things we need to do here is make sure that bots are manning these stations as well. And, uh... Oh, hold on a second. Did we change it for all of you? Oh, yes, we did. Okay. So that's the, uh, the farming section. Let's have a look over here as well. We do have an extra terraforming station and the dirt excavator now operational and i've planned in all of those dirt piles here as well but i think the beavers are a little bit busy constructing everything else everywhere else so they've not really reached this zone yet so yeah let's have a look on this side as well so the water wheels are mostly in can we squeeze another one? Oh yes we can now this power or set of power wires they're not really connected to anything just yet uh, wow, okay, so this zone here is done as well, so that's great. Uh, I'm planning to have a, like, a little bridge that crosses onto the other side, but that means we're going to have to disconnect you. I mean, it's trout right now. Okay, never mind, let's just, um, let's just do it. Let me just go over here, we have four tile cap. This zone in here, platforms, a road, side platform... Okay, these are a little bit difficult. Which way are you? Okay. Uh, <laughs> oh dear. Okay, I think we had it down one level. And here you go. Light comes over. Connect them with the roads. I think, yeah. Okay, slightly higher priority for you. Uh, grab you as well. Okay, here we go. So then what we can do is we'll have a few more wheels connected over here. Run the power cable. Connect with this one. Oh yeah, that means we still need to connect you over here as well, isn't it? Okay. Wow. Right, right, right. Well, I'll fix it up. Let's have a look at everything else. We do have a spare 7 and 7 sharps as well. Okay, so maybe we do have too many... Might be too many bots living in here. Let's reduce you to 65. Okay. And I think we have to manually send you out, isn't it? District 1... Okay, now, from 2 to 1, and we are reducing you to 65. All right, there we go. Now, uh, <laughs> here we weren't changing too many things, was it? No. Here as well. Trout's only here for another three days. Water level seems to be good in the canals. They've already planted the vast majority of the trees as well, so that's... Uh, 
That's a job well done, I suppose. And then, <laughs> don't really need to take over this area just yet. Let's have a look at this levees as well. How are you guys going? That's probably... Never mind, it is not too far. We'll give you a couple of roads and hopefully... <laughs> Actually, what might be easier is don't put those... Or never mind, let's leave the platforms here. We will also give you some stairs and... Oh yeah, we're almost there, aren't we? Right, let's um, clean this space up one more time. Ladder right like so. Yeah, I think before we get this connection done over here, that's supposed to be a bit more direct for us. We're most likely going to have this whole area completed, aren't we? Oh, yeah. Maybe another set of stairs over here as well, so... This should be all good. Okay, now... <laughs> let's uh, head back to this area here. Oh, wow, these guys are actually super fast. They have done all those terrain blocks already. Don't want those farms to be operational just yet. I do need... <laughs> I do need bots in these ones, though. And that is going to be a bit of a priority. I'm pretty sure we changed them to bots already before, but for some reason it didn't register them. Okay. Now, another problem we are going to have here is it's really, really, really far from the district center. So, and if the bots are working here, that means they are most likely... Well, they're going to need some fuel, aren't they? Let's make sure that this one stays full of fuel at all times. I'd like to bring some Catalyst here as well, but our production for Catalyst is not going too well right now. I'll be honest. There we go. The pumps are now functional. And uh, hopefully, well, you are locked. We've not set it up to automation just yet. We kind of want to empty this area out first and... Then we shall see. So why don't we let this game run for a little bit longer. And we'll be back as soon as the last few things are done as well. Okay, and there it is. Our little mountain has been fully fully erected now. And um, what we have started to build over here. If we quickly hide the water. I'm trying to build a bit of a channel for the, for the waterfall as well. All the overflow wa water that's coming down. Is pushing towards this way and then maybe circling back as well. Who knows. But yeah. If we had a bit more time, I mean, yes we do, but we are in a bit of a rush to jump on the on the new batch now. So um, yeah, I, I would like to, or I would have wanted to, decorate this a little bit more. Put some, um, I don't know, some relaxation zones for the beavers as well. But anyways, yeah, we do have a nice looking waterfall now. And uh, in the food section, we are definitely producing some. Let's have a look. I think, uh, no, with these ones we have cattail crackers and we did have some... Some of the other ones as well, but uh, it's a nice, lovely little farming zone in here. And then in the future as well, we could have just expanded upon that one as well. Okay, cool. So the next one, uh, the metal production area is looking pretty good as well. I've, uh, thanks to the lovely, helpful comment, I have now added a couple more bot assemblers as well. So, so yeah, there's a healthy supply of bots uh, ready to jump in wherever we need their help and uh, actually we almost skipped over this one but um, we do have a lot more power being produced here as well but okay so um, I think that's gonna be the end for this uh, series and the episode itself it's been a lot of fun doing this mini series and uh, as it was pointed out as well if we want to do some mini series in the future we should probably pick a slightly uh, smaller map so we'll we'll definitely keep that in mind but um, we've uh, managed to, I think, green up quite a bit of this island or the landmass over here. So, so yeah, pretty happy with this, uh, this build so far. Wish we could have built it a little further. But as we said before, we are super excited to jump on the newest patch. I mean, I am very late for that. But as they say, better late than, uh, than ever. So uh, thank you so much for watching. Thanks a lot for the ideas. Can't wait to start building Beaver Venice. Hopefully in the next one, if we have tons of water. I don't know which map to choose yet. I'll have a look after editing this video. So once again, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the new series. <laughs>